we are trying to not be too loud because this is not the loud place to be, but we're at the airport. Yeah. Use an airport. There's a plane boarding over there. But um, ours boards in like, what, like 30 minutes? 28. Okay. But um, we're going to fly to Charlotte and then from Charlotte to Tennessee and then we're going to go to Bristol tomorrow. Ooh, we should get some really aesthetic like air shots and like edit them. Maybe. We want to be too high for the clouds. I have no idea. But this is the 26th vlog on the channel. We're going to Bristol Motor Speedway for the All-Star Race. They're going to have neon lights under the cars. That is going to be really cool. And it's going to be romantic because it's a night race. Yeah, everything's romantic with you. And I'm driving a Kia Forte. Okay, it's ready to go. Also, that's Kayla. Hi, Kayla. Hi, baby. I love you, Kayla. I love you too, baby. But I'm Hotel, Days in by Wyndham. Hello, sunshine. And this is the room. This isn't too difficult. Dang it. There we go. She beat me to it. Also, this is the room. Let me take a look around. 
Hopefully it's not too dark once I shut the door. That's fine. What are you doing? It's funny because last time I went to a NASCAR race, there wasn't a woman in my room whenever you showed up there. This that makes this a hundred percent better. I, I'm Tom Cruise. I mean, Cold Trickle. What? Whatever. You get the point. There's a TV and a microwave, some lamps. Uh, here's if I ever feel like going to Narnia, I guess. And you know, bathroom and the coffee maker is next to the sink. What the? F All right, I'm at Quaker Steak and Lube the evening before the race. This place is amazing. They got cars, hoods. Just all kinds of stuff to look at. So, give you guys a look at that. We've got a nice dirt bike right here with uh, red tires. Dude, I used to do that in MX First Dates, y'all out. Nice buggy right here. Looks so cool. And then, like, that doesn't stop there. I mean, this is just the inside. We're eating outside, but look at all the decorations on the wall. The photos. We got a soccer game. Oh shit, copyright. So it's a museum. It's a museum that you can eat in. It's amazing. You can see that from the other side, but... Oh my god, I just noticed this. That's a nice paint job. It's a... Looks like a... It's this, yeah, this is a funny car. This is a dragster. Dude, I love the paint job. I think I have to flip it over just to actually see it right. And there's one last car right over there in the corner that I'll get a good look at for you guys. Also, this place is selling Pepsi, not Coca-Cola. That just made my night, man. That just, that made this whole trip for me is them having Pepsi. Yeah, that's a Corvette, or a Corvette Stingray, or just an older Corvette. I, I'm not gonna look at the bumper and try to squeeze into the wall or whatever, but this is such an amazing place to eat. Definitely come here if you, uh, definitely come here if you ever decide to visit Bristol Motor Speedway. It's gotta be the best restaurant, just with the amenities and just eating out of here. Show you guys the outside area. Look at the counter. And they got all these chairs up just in case people are sitting down. And that's my girlfriend. We've already got our, our, uh, our entrees, appetizers. I already decided what I wanted to eat. I want the sirloin, the, uh, the six ounce top sirloin steak. I haven't had a steak in forever. Steak for Kayla. That's Cole Guster's car! Oh my god! What the fuck? <laughs> pulled out of the fucking restaurant and we're behind Cold Custard's car. That's amazing. Wow. Did you, we just watched that finish uh, on YouTube and we just pulled out of the parking lot. I hope number 41 wins again this time though. That would be really kind of cool. It is morning. It is race day. And then they're going to race later this evening. We're having breakfast. It's like 11 a.m. It's more like a brunch. We... We're at this restaurant called Mad Greek. I don't know if this place is like one and only place right here or not, but I've never heard of it before. Well, and once kinda... again, it's uh, you can eat out in the open and um, it's got lots of Italian stuff and uh, looking forward to having breakfast here. I don't know what I can have for breakfast, but it looks nice. I just saw a Brad Keselowski fan walk into the place. That's cool. We arrived at the track a while ago, and you can see where we're sitting over here. My car over there, there's two guys walking in front of it. But uh, my girlfriend's done got a few things. She bought a flag and uh, a new mask, a pink SpongeBob racing mask thing. I got Bobby Labonte 2001 Flames car, Hot Rod Magazine. Uh, met Wind Val. Uh, Y'all see that picture whenever I throw up all the pictures. And yes, Cole Trickle is here at the racetrack. But I'm gonna give you guys just a good, nice walk around of the place where I've been buying all these things. Uh, still got some exploring to do, but yeah, lots of people, lots of masks, lots of sweating.
muscle above the track right now. They'll be on the track shortly. Bye, Bristle. It's interesting. Um, we should pass by it on the plane again, but I don't know if we'll see it out the left windows, which I think we have the left windows this time. But, um, race? That was, that was a 7 out of 10 race. Good restarts. Um, Why would you give it only a 7 out of 10? Well, usually... I expect Bristol to have passes, like just throughout the field, like non-stop. But with it being a smaller field, and the fact that you know they do this compound at the bottom line, so that they all grip to the bottom. Hmm. You know, if you went to the top, usually you know you couldn't pass by. I think I saw one guy actually make it happen on the top of the track. Mm -hmm. Still got people out there camping and whatever. Lots of stuff I'll show you guys later on. I tried to last night, but the lamps at our hotel, which were it's the only three of the four of them actually, um, one of the four actually worked. It was a little weird on how that worked, but um, since today I kind of woke up a little moody and a little upset. Uh, it's taking me to the mall, which I'm pretty excited for. We woke up in like an hour and a half before having it was the time to check out. She gonna take a shower. I gonna take a shower. And then been packing all morning and I was like so mad just like I don't know why just this deep like irritation I think it just came from being tired last night but after we ate I felt a little bit better I'm wearing my shirt that I got though it's Bristol baby So, the vlog of me and my girlfriend going to Bristol Motor Speedway is coming to an end. As you can see, I'm on the couch at home wearing my uh, It's Bristol Baby shirt. Man, I need to boost the brightness in the video in post-production because it's way brighter in this room. It's actually 12 hours after that clip you just saw uh, of the plane landing. Um... Her parents drove us back from Houston to Louisiana. I got in my work clothes and I went to work, worked my eight-hour shift. So 
I've been awake since 10 a.m. yesterday. I've been awake for like 22 hours, I guess. But uh, yeah, I knew I could fit in that shift just before um, the next work week starts. And, um, you know, it, I'll be very tired afterwards, but I'm off Friday night, and it's Friday, so now I can get a bunch of sleep again. It was worth it in the end. But now I can officially uh, show you guys all the stuff I got. I mean, I already showed you, yeah, this shirt. It's a tie-dye. It's Bristol Baby shirt. The other shirt that I got is this pink Bristol, Tennessee racing shirt. The gift shop for this place, like, it might have been open before the race, but I was going to go afterwards. You know, I went and got all my most of my stuff after the race just because, you know, I went to walk around and find these YouTubers wherever they were. They all met up at the sign, and I didn't get that memo. I guess they just they all kind of just started making that decision. Um, I got interviewed by Marty Smith, me and my girlfriend. Um, he interviewed her because she had the SpongeBob mask and uh, he interviewed me because I was cold trickle and you know he just asked us about um, us being inspired to go out there and uh, worried about the risks and a break from COVID-19 and trying to just enjoy the year I guess um, yeah, th this is just in case I ever want to experiment you know Bristol Tennessee racing because you know may maybe I don't want to just, you know, wear guy clothes. It's my mom's shirt, okay? Like, I made the same joke with the Talladega freaking shirt that I got my mom. To be honest, I don't know if that shirt was better than the Talladega shirt or not. But I think I got this shirt. I feel like a lot of people think this is a cool shirt. Yeah, I'm going to show you the back first because the back is the cool part. You know, holding a camera with one hand makes doing this difficult. But, I mean, I think you get the point by now. There's cars and sparks and blueness and orangeness and and moonness. The myth, the legend, Bristol, Tennessee, 2020, under the lights. And it's yeah, it's a camo shirt. And we tried to record this video uh, uh, the other night after the race at the hotel, but the, the freaking lamps being all stupid, so didn't even bother saving it. Yeah, this is just in the pocket area. Saturday night under the lights. Get this out of the way. Okay. I have a big old 124 scale die cast. And if you look right here, it's it's by Action. Whose die cast is this? It is obviously an old one because Action is not a big deal anymore. But this is the number 19... Mountain Dew Dodge, driven in 2001 by Casey Atwood. See the rookie stripes right there. Yeah, I know it's really dark in here and shit. It would look so much better if I had good lighting, but I don't give a crap. This was actually in my uh, Top 10 Paint Schemes video uh, for NASCAR. You can find that in my like top tens playlist somewhere. You'll know what I'm talking about. I got that. I didn't even put all the stuff back in the box properly. And yeah, then there's there's one more thing that I got there. I had mentioned this earlier. It is Bobby Labonte, a one sixty four scale hot rod magazine die cast. What is it gonna take for this to be visible? Okay, it is now. Visible. I should take it out of the box. I'm gonna take it out of the box. Whenever the hell I feel like it. Now this is uh I didn't buy this at the track. This was something that I wanted to wear to the race. Probably under my uh cold trickle jacket. Um it's this Black Flags Matter shirt that I ordered. I spent a bunch on shipping with the hopes that it would arrive in time for the race. How come I can't do anything with one hand? Oh my god. I'm so fucking tired. I have mood problems. But I love the design on the front of the shirt. I wanted the one with the car on it, but then I realized it was on the back of the shirt. And I'm not a back of the shirt designs guy. But um, I, I want to thank Lefty and Black Flags Matter for collabing to make such awesome designs and for merchandise. I guess just to end off this video, I should um just talk real quick about... um.
just all the, the experiences and the fun I had out there, uh, what it was like just talking and, and chatting with a bunch of the YouTubers that I, I have so much in common with because that that in specific was um, it was an experience that I, I'd always wanted to just to just know what it's like to communicate with these people in person versus just you know watching their videos or having like messages and stuff like uh Brandon he's he's just a nice cool guy um he's been working really hard lately um from what i've heard with all the, the essential worker things and then um him having a job he's, he's uh, i heard about that so uh, i'm glad that he's um getting his life figured out at such a young age versus me where i didn't have a job until senior year um and then joseph lombard he's um he's kind of like taking a break from from the lombard bros gaming business thing he saw it had all the move and everything and um um, him trying to become a reporter has been slowed down by all this pandemic. So it's, but he's still getting enjoy races, and um, I hope he's he's happier in Georgia. And I'm pretty sure he misses California. But it was it was it was weird because I mean I've been watching him for like eight years on, on YouTube, and I actually had a conversation with him. It was like probably like five minutes worth of just talking to Joseph Lombard. Like, I mean, to me it's it's, it's just nice to talk to somebody versus like if I had that was like four years ago. I'll be losing my shit and back to the thing where I just can't stop smiling because I'm so excited to be talking to someone that I'm such a big fan of. I'm still a big fan, but I guess I just I don't go insane over you know, any particular person anymore. So that's I guess I don't know if that's a good thing. Should I be going insane if I meet someone that I'm a really big fan of? <laughs> uh, I don't I don't fangirl. I don't know. Um, I was surprised that I met Wind Valley. He was the first one that I met. He was with Moonhead. For whatever reason, I could not remember the name Moonhead repeatedly. Uh, I, I've got it in there now. I, I know the Moonhead. He interviewed the guy that climbed the fence after the race, which was hilarious. Make sure you see that if you haven't. But um, Wind Valley, he's a very quiet guy. He's, he's more quiet than me. I was surprised. But, um, you know, they talk in their videos, and you just you don't – I guess you, you just assume that they're all about the same person. You also assume that they're all just as tall as you. I don't know why. You know, I don't want to assume it, like, purposely. I just, somewhere in my brain, that automatically happens that everyone is the same height as me. No, I am freaking tall, dude. I saw Windbow, and he was shorter than Joseph Lombard, and I thought to myself, I did not know that. And he was in the Starcom shirt, and I was like, Starcom? And then I turned around, and I was like, Michael? <laughs> but, um, yeah, we took a picture together, and um, that was, you know, like, most of uh, chat a little bit, let him know that I'm got that freaking message notification sound on my phone of him saying G'danka Newberg Dregung or however the hell he, 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 he says it. But, um, big fan of his channel. I watch his stuff uh, a few times a week. Um, and, and Black Flags Matter. I mean, i just show you the, the shirt that I got that I ordered that I wanted to be wearing when I got there because it, I've been supporting him since like 2016 whenever he started YouTube and he was small then. He was just, you know, playing NASCAR Thunder 2002 and 2004 Casey Atwood, and then, like, a custom car, I guess, and uh, he had been watching me play NASCAR PSP, and gosh, it's like, I'd only been doing YouTube for one year back then, and now it's it's been five years, and things have really changed since then, and he, he came back, to my surprise, I was so happy, and I'm so proud of him now, he's, he's just skyrocketed, he's got a big fan base, and he's just one of the people to watch for, like, NASCAR history and, and opinions. Okay, well, yeah, you heard me talking about the race and meeting all those guys and uh, it was so much fun i'm not gonna edit this and have it come out on the same day probably i'm so tired <laughs> i'm so freaking tired from from work and all that um that was um some of the most amazing moments for me this year see you next time that's that and vlog over